A new clip from Halloween 2018 pits Laurie Strode against her own personal boogeyman Michael Myers. Once again, Jamie Lee Curtis has had a very interesting journey with the Halloween franchise. After making her film debut in the 1978 original, Curtis would go on to star in a run of horror movies, including Prom Night and John Carpenter's The Fog. She decided to call it a day with the genre with 1981's Halloween 2, which she felt was an appropriate time to move on to other projects. That said, she makes a brief vocal cameo in Halloween 3, Season of the Witch. She returned for Halloween, age 20 to celebrate the 20th anniversary of the original, but the project didn't work out the way she hoped. John Carpenter walked away as director. And despite being told Laurie would kill Michael Myers for good, thus ending the series, the producers had a change of heart. A compromise was reached where H20 ends with Michael seemingly dead. Only for the next chapter Halloween. Resurrection to reveal it was all an elaborate trick. Curtis later dubbed H20 a money gig as a result of the changes. And Laurie was killed off in the opening of Resurrection. Related. Halloween 2018 is the best since the original says John Carpenter that hasn't stopped Curtis coming back for the Blumhouse produced Halloween 2018, which redcons the other sequels out of existence and only acknowledges the original. This version of Laurie Strode was left so deeply traumatized by the events of Halloween that she's spent 40 years preparing for Michael's return, needless to say. He doesn't disappoint. Now a new clip from the movie shows Lori preparing for battle as the shape skulks outside her compound. The decision to ignore the other Halloween sequels has been somewhat controversial among fans. But it's not the first time in the franchise this has happened. Halloween 3 was a standalone anthology story with no connection to the Michael Myers storyline. In Halloween, H20 later pretended the events of Halloween IVV didn't happen. The reviews for the new sequel has been overwhelmingly positive so far. So in the end, it seems to have been a wise move. Halloween 2018 also brings back series creator John Carpenter, who stepped aside following the box office disappointment of Halloween 3. He felt later sequels that focused on Michael simply Xeroxed the concept of the original and did little to innovate, and he wanted to work on original ideas. Bloomhouse sought his approval before making the new movie, made sure he was creatively involved and even convinced him to compose the score, which he also did for the first movie. Source. Universal Pictures Tags. Halloween.